Oh, I see a, a memory down here. And I see a bird. Right above me. Kick it on the ledge, though. Maybe. If I jump from here. Nope, not. Try again. There we go. <laughs> Got it. To grab things while underwater? Okay, cool. I hope I don't drown down here. I think I'm gonna drown. Me? Could could I be a are you sure? It is not anybody else. Of that I am sure. No, I mean Oh Gillian what what do we do? Tell Mr. Sitfield. Ah, there we go. I suppose the brother just got a nine-month deadline. No. You are already anemic. The RLC is not a place for a pregnant woman. And that is what we are here to fix. Why should I deserve better than your mother and sister? Alright, where am I now? Another bird. Let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> Let's try that again. I think I need to go higher up first. Oh, I just skipped it. There we go. Nobody can replace me here. And I can't do this. I can do anything now. I just need your help. Oh no. Oh. Wait a minute. There we go. Jesus Christ, the controls, man. Ooh. I can't see a thing. No, I can't go in here. I guess I could keep going up. Yeah, let's do that. Or let's go down. Good. Take it. I will replace you here. You are right. This is bigger than us. It is our duty. And you want this to happen. I know that. I will come to New York. I will. After the flood. Why, hello there. 
Let's not fall down. Alright, I need to get up. How do I get up? That goes nowhere. It's got a lock on it. hole there if I could push a box into it, but I don't have one to use. Do I just jump across? Can I jump across here? Just a little ah, okay. bit higher, and then I can dive into the borehole. I forbid it, Emilio. You will not die from that altitude. If Ostrovsky's hurt, someone must replace her. <gasps> Only I can do that. There's a ladder there. But what's over here first? <sighs> Could I make that jump? Maybe. Oh, dear God. How long is it going to take me to get back? What did I just... I will not complain, because that is actually a relief. I don't know why I died so quickly, but what... from that altitude. If Ostrovsky's hurt, huh. someone must replace her. And only I can do that. Nikolai, when I heard about the accident on the radio, my thoughts went immediately to you. First, I must chastise you. I know you may not feel that way at the moment, but this was the biggest mistake you ever made, Nikolai. Your carelessness has cost the company millions of... Rubles? I say this because mistakes are the mother of caution, and you have already received enough, enough praise for the catastrophe you've wrought. With that said, my sincerest and almost and most flabbergasted congratulations. Right there, where you happen to run aground, your stupidity will never outshine your luck. Remember when they told us it was madness to transport that old drill ship into the Aral Sea? By the look of the samples you've sent, you finally proved them wrong. And among all this, as always, a small hint of genius. Telling the locals they may find water is going to negate all the fear of working close to the island. A white lie for the black gold. As the board has probably already told you, the company will be supporting your unorthodox excavation with the equipment and money you asked for. Although your assistant had already been reassigned when word arrived. But I'm sure you'll find someone among the hungry hordes in some name I can't pronounce. Enjoy your good fortune, and I'll see you back in Moscow when you're done. Natasha and your nieces send their love and faith, as do I, Yuri, October 1995. Huh. Right, there's something else up there, right? Yeah, there's something else up there. So can I actually make that jump then? I don't think I can. Just kill me. You know you want to do it. Just a little 
bit higher, and then I can dive into the borehole. I forbid it, Emilio. You will not dive from that altitude. If Ostrovsky is hurt, someone must replace her. And only I can do that. I mean, he did say a little bit higher. Is, is this high enough? Do I just go down? All right, down we go. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That wasn't exactly the elegant dive I was going for. <laughs> Let's try that again. Just a little bit higher, and then I can dive into the borehole. I forbid it, Emilio. You will and then we go. From that altitude. If Ostrovsky's hurt, <sighs> someone must replace her. I guess I've got to get the angle just right. Just a little bit higher, and then I can dive into the borehole. I forbid it, Emilio. You will not die from that altitude. If Ostrovsky's hurt, someone must replace her. And only I can do that. How do... how do I... Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, because I don't have any air. There's a hole at the bottom. If she had only stayed a few days longer. I'm checking it out! Uh, looks a little bit dangerous there, man. Ah, yes, and this is where we met. The project grounds have been flooded. If I can just reach her, I can help her set off the final explosives. <coughs> no, not here. This was the shaft where I need to reach the other shaft. All right, to drop my grapnel. Not sure how helpful that's gonna be. Right, so there's a lot of areas I could go. Let's see what's down here. Doesn't look like anything. What's up here? Not sure if I can actually grapple to that. What just happened to me? Okay, might... Ooh, there's a bird. I can get to you. I'm probably gonna die trying to do it, but I... Whoa. I think I can do it. Yeah, this momentum system on the rope is... Weird. It's really, really weird. I feel like I have no control over what's happening. Like, it's like a, it's a rubber band or something. Okay. okay. No, what? Am I even gaining momentum? I can't even tell. <laughs> okay, I got it. Good enough. Whoa. There's a memory over here. The water is making this hell. The mission must be completed today. 
I saw somebody walking over here. Looks like it was a memory. Hmm. Uh, how do I get out of here? I have no idea if I'm going the exact right way or the exact wrong way. It is depressing, isn't it? Just husks of their former self. These ships, these boats. I guess their ships, probably not boats. Okay, that's the thing I was trying to get at before. Now I can, or am I instantly gonna die again? Now again! Okay. Why is it flashing? Actually, now it's no longer flashing. Oh, I guess just because it was undiscovered. I thought it was magical text or something. Moscow, 1920s. Lenin, what will we call this next autonomy? Stalin, I don't know. But I hear that the people who live there wear big black hats. Lenin. Then we shall call the people black hats. And the autonomy shall be called Black Hat Land. Wait, what? Hats Going Nowhere by Altebec. Is this a, a song? Am I supposed to go over- whoa. Am I, am I supposed to go over there? What is happening to me? it, I suppose. No, dr drop, drop it. There you go. No. <sighs> Gotta go down and to the right. I don't understand. I'm trying to go right, but I'm not going right enough before I simply float up and out. Okay, there we go. I'm about to die. Okay, I'm good. Her for a time after the flood. A time of happiness, Helena. Altebeck. 
How sad. Whoops. I know the shaft was around here. Right next to Emilia. So, even if this is the only site where we can be 100% certain, we will finish the western shaft first. It is closer to the drill ship. If the underground river can be reached from there, we will save months. Did you understand? Yes, Mr. Sitzman. Ostrovska. There is something I feel you should know. As you are the director of our project, both Alkabek and I are under your... I know already. How? I have only one order for you regarding this. Please try to keep quiet in the ship corridor at night. I understand. Not entirely sure if this is where I'm supposed to be going, but I want to check it out anyway. Ah, oh, can I get that now? Oh, I didn't, didn't mean to go out there. Hold on. I think I can. Nope, never mind. I... I really, I, I can't tell the, I'm so confused about the depth of what I'm looking at, like where it is on the screen. I, I can't tell what's behind me and I can't grab onto it and what is on my level, my slice. It's very, very weird. Why did, why did that disappear? Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Ah, forget it. Am I just gonna, like, leave? Can I do that? I just realized that truck looks in horrible condition. If I didn't know any better, I would say that thing's a... Like, a rust bucket. Just... That's been left here for years. And there's a thing flashing on top of it. Interesting. Twenty second of June, sunny. She says I shouldn't be starting a new journal for this. Ostrovska and I are on a plane bound for Nukas, the capital of I, I don't know how to pronounce that, with no serious purpose whatsoever. Visit my cousins, she says. I don't buy that. We don't do vacations, and why now? She's had lots of opportunities to show me my father's homeland homeland, and the work they did on the Aral Sea. And it's not like my grandfather is dying or anything. We're here to save something. Or someone. Someone real important. They've got to be. So why won't she tell me? 23rd of June. Rainy. Not. Bored. All we've done all day is just exchanging pleasantries with the family and their neighbors. Most of the relatives I was promised left uh, long ago. Those who remain, like my grandparents, are breathing toxic dust out of sheer pride. Unlike most people here, my family has the means to get out. They just lack the sense. 
Ostrovska seems as frustrated with this as I am. We're not getting anywhere. And these people don't need our help. They have food, water, and a roof over their heads. I want to at least see the Aral Sea. But apparently my grandfather is taking me to some market tomorrow, and he's promised to wear his traditional chapon. He's very old-fashioned, though you have to give him credit for trying to speak English. 24th of June, sunny. I knew it. When we woke up this morning, Ostrovska had disappeared. She won't answer her phone. My grandfather is worried and wants to go look for her. I know better than to worry for Ostrovska, but I'll play along. Maybe that's what it takes to find out what's going on. Nikolai walks with such anger, doesn't he? It's like he's walking with a purpose, and I suppose he is. He is on a bit of a mission, but it's like he's doing an angry, stompy sort of walk. So I believe I'm looking for the hole, right? Which... I might actually be able to remember where that was. It was past here. Okay, yeah, it was just a little bit to the left of here. I jumped off and wasn't it like right down here. Yeah. Or if I can anchor up that note. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is gonna get me anywhere. Is this what I'm looking for? Because if I stay down here, I'm going to die. You were correct to stay behind. This is now impossible. Emilio has hopefully made it out. I need to escape from the ship and find him before he does something th that is stupid. Huh. <laughs> before he does something that is stupid, he's already been doing incredibly stupid things. Quarantine. Hold so long, Mr. Sitvin. No water to be found. Only pink sludge. You send the one down there now. Who else was with you? I didn't touch anything. Oh, you did not have to. Take what you need for work and get up on deck. The drill ship is now a quarantine zone. Repeat. What exactly happened? Wait. The lock... Oh, the lock just fell off? Okay, why? So you just wait for the characters to s finish, like, their little conversation and the lock just falls off? I guess it rusted with age and it just happened to come off at just the right time? That is really awkward and strange. I remember you made it very clear that there were only the ten pits and they were all supposed to be on the island.
Is this my fault, I ask you? Because you permitted us. You told me. I am going to have to comment on that. Can you let me out today? Mr. Setvel? I took your blood sample. It didn't hurt. Can you open the shaft for me? I can keep digging, Mr. Setvel. The damage is already done. I know we are close to the river. Right, so given what I saw before in the shaft, with all those, uh, I think there were barrels of stuff, and the documents I saw about the biological weapons research that was being done in this area, I'm guessing they dug up something that they shouldn't have, which is why there's the quarantine. They're exposed to potentially dangerous biological weapons, which is probably why I just took a blood sample to see whether he's in infected with something. Oh god, that could, be, oh, that could be horribly nasty. If we failed now, she... This is my last chance. <laughs> Mr. Sitvin, I have found something. Mr. Sitfin, are you there? Is anyone there? What is that? Something on the ground. Everybody listen. Return to your rooms in the drill ship. And this time, take all of your belongings with you. Whatever you leave, you will not see again. I will meet you outside in 15 minutes. Repeat! Holy hell, I got pretty lucky there. That was a close call. Mm. Oh, and I just got very unlucky. Mr. Sitvin? Where did everyone go? There was nothing I could do. They say Wastrostenia is not safe. Uzbek military is coming in to protect the area now. Hold on, what's down here first? Received the uh, words from your sample. It is anthrax as we suspected. So, uh, the good news are you are not contagious. The bad news are that I will die. That is hardly news. Jesus, anthrax. Man. Poor, poor guy. Actually, what's this here? Oh, it's locked. Well, these are some certainly some lived-in living quarters. Look at this. Oh, I just tried to use that, thinking nothing would actually happen, but it actually does do something.
That just sounds strange and ghostly. It's creepy. Look at this place. It looks like people were just... It looks so incredibly lived in, but it also looks like people just ditched the whole place, because I guess they did. You know, just right in the middle of, of life, and then just up and ran off. Took off. It's eerie. When I received the invitation to take part in this conference, frankly, my thought for a moment was, what can a well-off Scandinavian country like Sweden have in common with the Aral Sea? Suffocating in an inexorable grove of the Asian desert. However, a striking exit from a, from a poem of a great son of Scandinavia, Henrik Ibsen, came to my mind. It portrays a boy who rang a small bell during cold winter nights to remind people that the world is not restricted to the privacy of their warm houses. There's an outer world at the other side of the threshold, where some people freeze and starve to death. For us in Kyrgyz... I don't know how to pronounce that. This image is associated with Scandinavia and Sweden. Dear colleagues, following the example of Ibsen's little hero, the best cinematographers should make films. The, bless the best playwriters and directors should write and stage plays. The star journalists should make reports about the fate of the Aral Sea. The notion of the great English poet, John Donne. Do not ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for you. Should become a reminder for minds, hearts, and souls of the society. I believe that this massive and permanent flow of information say the flow of consciousness, can ensure the flow of water to the Aral Sea, and will not allow it to perish, since the ecology of earth and water is the ecology of spirit and soul. It's from Myram Akiva, or something like that, chairperson of the Miram Foundation, speaking at the Aral Conference in Stockholm, 1998. Nice one. Good job. Mm, where was I going? Where was I going? Well, certainly not in here. I believe I was continuing my way up the ladder. Not this one. Another one. Somewhere else. Down here, right? Oh, actually, I can't. I can't go down. Oh, wait, wasn't it locked? I thought that was locked. Anyway, up we go. Hello, Birdie. What are you doing inside of here? It really is eerie to see living spaces that are just utterly silent. And just kind of... I don't know, just... You know, ones that look like they've been abandoned. It feels like it could have been like this for years, even though I'm pretty sure it was very, very recently that this was abandoned. Oh, a laptop. To my friend, Ostrovska. Ultipek's death 
was the beginning of your suffering, but I now carry a hope that, will, that it will also be the end. There is something I never told you. I could not, because it was already too late. But now, reading about the things that you have done? We fell out of touch, but I have not forgotten, and I have watched from afar. You know by now that your deeds of justice will never fulfill you. I feel it may have been I who taught you this selflessness. But you do not owe this to the world. It is not your duty. It is important in your head, but not in your heart. I fear that you may now believe that nothing is. I send you this message from your old computer. In his final days, Altebec found the secret to saving the Aral Sea, and he showed me. Despite knowing this, I was forced to evacuate. And given the circumstances, I believe that we were right to turn our attention elsewhere. Now it is different. I've made the necessary preparations, but I cannot let anybody but you take the final step. I wait here until you do. Yours devoted, Nikolai. I will not be the bane of her project. You know I can't do that. I do not want this. But if we don't evacuate today, they, they will come here and make us. Let them leave. Follow me, Mr. Sitvin. I knew you want to be the first to see this. Map of the project area. So I'm looking at the bottom. This is where we'll put the baby. The mine shaft, hidden entrance. Big crane, the entrance, the old shaft, helipad. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. This place is falling apart. Let's check this door out before I go to the one on the right. Wait, is that where I just came from? Oh, no, no, this is the other side of the boxes. Okay. Mr. Nikolai Sitvin. I have lived on this earth for nearly a quarter century now, but still done very little to pay it back. For the last four years, I have been part of the MSF presence here in Monyek, but I am not a medical professional, and my usefulness is limited to simple diagnostics and administration. I could no longer pretend that I am doing everything I can. With my background, I must be able to do more. My father is a capitalist. Andrei Fyodorov Ostrovsky, with whom I am sure a man in your position will already be familiar. You may consider this a merit for me, though I personally do not. I share many things with my father, but never the passion for wealth that has made him famous. When my family left for the West, I could not follow. How could I go with them to America and live a life of peace? To the one place that didn't need my help. The MSF told me that this was where I was needed, and I was quick to listen to them. I am happy with the work I have achieved here. But when I heard about the project you are planning in the Aral Sea Basin, I knew this was something else. You are trying to save the world, not just ease its passing. Not for your own profit, but because it is right. I'm a fast learner. That's why I know this region well, its customs and its people. That's why I will learn whatever you need to teach me. I have proven through my work here that I am not afraid of dirt beneath my fingernails, and I am very much ready for this next step. 
I honestly do not know what my role in your venture will be. All I know is that I will play one. And it will be the beginning of something bigger than any of us. Eagerly awaiting your reply. Ow. <laughs> okay, back to Emilio. She's close. I'll find her and I'll... I'll figure something out. Alright, there's a little bit of air here. Somehow. Must be held in by this... I'm assuming this is a wooden box. Not entirely sure. Wait a minute, Like, I'm next to these barrels. Are these the barrels of, like, anthrax and stuff? This doesn't seem safe. <laughs> this really doesn't seem safe. Okay, how, how do I continue to go, go down? I can't go down. Oh, okay. I, I see. Kind of. This is not a river. It's a stream. It's not much here, but it flows from somewhere. over here. Oh, this looks promising. Yelena, want to go for a swim? We say that I'll see. Then we go for a swim. How can I'm you about to die. Oh, there we go. It's been a long day. Does this ladder not go all the way up? not meant to go this way. Poison. Literally, it says poison on it. Uh, that can't be good. The, the Aral Seabed is a smorgasbord of toxic waste. That is not unique in itself. Many of the world's seas are like this, even the ones not surrounded by polluted cotton fields and the Soviet Union's main testing site for biological weapons. But most of the world's seabeds stay on the bottom of their seas. The shrinking of the Aral Sea has disturbed the climate of Central Asia giving rise to frequent violent sandstorms. The winds spread the salt and toxic dust throughout the region. Grains of the Aral Seabed have been found as far off as Canada. The breath of the sea poisons plants, people, and animals alike. In the Aral Basin, the cow's milk is salty and the air stings in people's eyes. Virtually every pregnant woman and every newborn child suffers from anemia. And doctors recommend against breastfeeding because the milk has been found to be toxic. Doctors Without Borders have been fighting tuberculosis here for 15 years. 30 years ago, 
tourists came all from all over the Union to swim in the Aral Sea. Today, people think twice about going near what's left of it without some kind of eye protection. How sad. And beyond sad, how freaking dangerous. Ugh. Why, hello there. I see you. Hmm. I've got to go back down, don't I? Yep. Hmm, but where? Where to go? <gasps> yeah, I can't go up here. It's just a just a place to get air. That's all it is. Okay. Do I go back that way? I think I have to. <sighs> Wait a minute, can I actually get back down there? Oh, wait, actually, if I dive, I probably can. Yeah, there we go. Alright, making progress, making progress. Dive down. Maybe. I probably do. Yeah, I think I do. Alright, so I've got to go down here. Here, jump up here, and then dive down here. There we go. Look at this. It flows out from the ground here. It flows upwards. We can dig through the rock. I don't have the time. I want to go to the surface. The river could be meters below. No. It's time. Take me to her, Mr. Citrin. Take me to her deck. Is that where you wanted to go before you died?
Yes. We made it. Well, we are here. I will have a son, Mr. Sitvin. He will take my place in her life. Help her go on and be the light to guide her. Please tell her that you will call him. Emilio. You are Emilio. Here to look for your mother. I am here to finish the job. I can do it. If Ostrowska isn't here, then I'll answer to you. Your mother has failed. She... she doesn't do that. It was impossible. She did everything she could. More than everything. That's who she is. That is who she became, Ostrovska. She would not let her heart defeat her. So she buried it here. Climb aboard and we will talk. She... Where is she? I tried to go back down, I tried! I've done everything I can. She's too deep down. Not for me! What is it? What is it you think you can do? I hope he's not just gonna get himself killed. Maybe he could do it though. Maybe. Whatever it is, let me help. Please! Your mother trusted me. weird. Normally you can grab onto these things, but for some reason this one I can't grab onto. Uh, do I just fall? Okay. Ostrovska served only the world. Only saving the world would have been enough. We need to finish this for her. You tried to help her. Uh, where do I go from here? I don't know if I can make it. Nope. Uh, uh. No. <laughs> uh. Come on. Come, come on. Come, there we go. What the, why, why did you just step off? There you go. Got your foot. <laughs> Thank you. If we work together, we can make amends for your mother's death. She will be proud of us. 
I, uh... Nikolai, I don't know if that's what he wants to hear at the moment. 